Hi, and welcome to my life in usually sunny central Texas. Now looking across here, it looks like the water has already gone down. You can see that it's rushing through over there. That is the Highway 29 that I've mentioned. I've seen the water all the way up over that bridge. Last night, sometime during the night, one or two trees floated along and got hung up. You can see the, the puddles right there are not um, today's. I mean, it's, it's barely a drizzle. It's the leftover condensation from last night's fog that is still dropping. And this will be up and down with every little rain we get for a while. The trees, the one on the other side especially, are big. The smaller little debris piles, just broken branches and stuff, we get that all the time. A little bit of grass, sometimes a ducky or two, and I've got traffic. And they have to go the other way because the barricade's still out. Now this is just the please do not cross here barricades. See the tiny one over there next to that truck? And a tiny one next to this intersection with a sandbag leaning on it so it don't blow away. And this is the low water crossing. If I talk about this being underwater occasionally, this is what I mean, is this one. And sometimes it is so low over here that you can just walk around on the dry riverbed, but of course that's not going to happen today. But when you have a dry riverbed, that's an excellent time to teach your scout Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, any other kinds of kids. Where you dig in a riverbank that's dry if you want to get down and find some moisture. Which is good to know. But the deeper outside bend, or outside edge of a bend, is where you go. And you can tell from all the turbulence over there, it's really rushing when it comes out of those little slots. Now we've got some water right here. It's running down to one of those little uh, run-throughs. And it's rushing out on this side. And a nice young man got out of his truck as I got out of mine and walked down here. I got my phone out and said I just wanted to get a shot of the river. And he admitted they're just waiting on a bigger piece of equipment that's going to come move those big... Looks like root tangles in the middle, tree on the far side, small branches near. And you can tell the water easily got up to where I'm standing because the grass is flattened. And there's another large truck. Alright, I think I'm done here. Bye-bye.